Hi, I'm Tim, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant within Docker on a Synology NAS. So let's get started. Firstly, if you've already installed Docker on your Synology NAS, then you can actually skip this step. Um, I will actually put chapters in the description so you can actually jump to the pieces that you want to uh, actually uh, know about. So first, to install Docker, we need to go to Package Center. As you can see, I'm already logged into my Synology NAS. So we'll click on Package Center. Then in the search bar at the top of the window, we'll type in Docker, spelled D-O-C-K-E-R. This will then pop up with Container Manager. Just to let you know that Container Manager is actually Docker. Um, so this is actually correct when you see Container Manager. So what you need to do is just click on Install and then wait for it to download. And then it will ask you for the destination volume where you want to install the actual Docker Container Manager to. This may not appear if you have uh, fewer hard drives in your system, but as I've got multiple hard drives, it's asking me where I want to uh, install Docker to. So I'm going to be installing it to volume one, which is where I install all of the applications and also the Synology Disk Station Manager as well. So we'll click next. Then to confirm settings, We'll just make sure that run after installation is actually ticked and then you can actually just click done. And this will then install Docker Container Manager. So now under all packages, you'll see that we have Container Manager and also we have an additional one for installed we now see Container Manager under Installed. So that means it's installed successfully on our Synology NAS. So we can now close Package Center. And to access Docker Container Manager, so as you'll see, I've created a Container Manager shortcut on my Synology desktop. So what I'm going to do is click here to launch Container Manager. You'll now see that we have Container Manager opened up on the screen and at the moment there are no services created. So firstly, what we need to do is go into Registry and then in the list of registry items that appear on the screen, type in the search bar Home Assistant. And the first item that appears at the top of the list is home assistant forward slash home hyphen assistant. And this is the item that you need to click on. So click on it once and then click on the download button. This will then retrieve the home assistant package from the Docker registry on the internet. Just one thing to make sure is that you've actually reviewed that Home Assistant is compatible with your Synology NAS that you have. So just make sure that it is actually compatible. Otherwise, if you go ahead and install it, it may not run at all. I can confirm that I'm using a Synology DS1621 Plus and this will actually run Home Assistant perfectly. So moving on with the choose tag window that appears on screen, what we need to do is please choose a tag. So in the tag, we'll choose latest and then click apply. So latest is already in there by default. So just click apply and this will actually proceed to download Home Assistant. As you can see, it's doing here. It's taken a short while to uh, finish downloading Home Assistant. Seems to be stuck at 91.44% at the moment. So we just wait for this to finish. 
Now you'll see that container manager docker image has been successfully downloaded on that pop-up window that appeared. So now you'll see in image, we've been taken into image and we now have home assistant forward slash home hyphen assistant. So that means it's successfully downloaded it to our Synology NAS. So now what we need to do is go in and set up a container so that we can operate Home Assistant. So under the image section, what we need to do is click on Home Assistant, as you'll see here. Then this takes us into the Home Assistant where you'll see the registry and the Docker Hub and the name and ID and tag and so on. So what you need to do is click on Run at the top right hand side of this window. Then for the image, make sure that that is home assistant forward slash home hyphen assistant colon latest. The container name, you can actually rename that so we can actually change it. So let's call it home underscore assistant. Then for enable resource limitation, we'll tick this box so that it restricts the resources of our Synology NAS so that it doesn't actually take up all of the resources just to run Home Assistant. So we'll leave the CPU priority as medium. The memory limit will set to 4096 megabytes, which is four gigabytes of RAM. However, depending on your system and how much RAM you have in your Synology NAS, you may need to reduce or increase the memory limit. So under enable auto restart, we'll tick that box so that it automatically restarts Home Assistant should our power be interrupted on our Synology NAS. So when our Synology NAS has restarted and Docker has loaded, it will then automatically restart Home Assistant should there be a power outage. So once we've done that, we'll click Next. Then under Volume Settings, we need to click Add Folder. Then with the window that appears, you'll see we have a Docker folder, which is highlighted. Now what we need to do is double click on Docker and then Create Folder. So what we're going to do is create a subfolder within the Docker folder for Home Assistant. So with a folder name, we'll call it Home Assistant, all in lowercase and all one word without spaces, and then click OK. So now you'll see that Home Assistant subfolder has appeared under Docker main folder here. All we'll do is click back on Docker so don't leave Home Assistant highlighted, just highlight Docker and click Select. Then, once you're back at this advanced settings window, where you'll see volume settings, we now have forward slash Docker. So in the box next to that, what you need to do is type in a forward slash and then type in Home Assistant all one word without spaces and it's lowercase. So it should be forward slash home assistant, which is the same name as that subfolder we've just created. Make sure that it's set to read and write and then move down to the environment section. Then under the environment section, you need to click add. And then under the variable, you need to type in capital T, capital Z, which means time zone. Then in the value, you need to type in the time zone for your local area. Now, to find out what the values should be, if you open up a new tab in your internet browser, your web page browser, whatever you like to call it, what you need to do is type in TZ values and then at the top of that search, you'll see we have a list of TZ database time zones and it's Wikipedia. So click on this. This will then bring you up with a database list of time zones. So for my time zone, I'm in Europe and 
I'm using the London time zone, so that's GMT. So I'll scroll down and find Europe and then London. And here we go. So GB Europe stroke London. So what we need to do is remember Europe forward slash London with a capital E and a capital L and then go back to the Synology NAS for the TZ value we're typing in Europe forward slash London. So this will then set the time zone to Europe London as the time zone. So what you need to do for that value is just pick the time zone which you are residing in. So once you've completed your time zone, you can then scroll down to network and under network, make sure that your network here is set to host. So change it from bridge to host. What this will do is use the same IP address to access Home Assistant as your Synology NAS. So you'll use the same IP address which you use to access your Synology NAS. You will also use this host IP address for Home Assistant. So once you've done that, you can then click Next. Then you will see that there's a tick box for run this container after the wizard is finished. You can leave that ticked and click done. <clears throat> Wait for the container to be created and it should then say for image, it should say home assistant forward slash home hyphen assistant latest and it should say in use and you should have a blue dot next to the cloud. This means that it's successfully working. So what we then need to do is click on container at the left hand side and then this will take us into the list of active containers. So in active containers you should have status green and the name should be home assistant. So if it's green it means that home assistant is successfully running. So to load up home assistant what you need to do is open up a new tab type in the IP address of your Synology NAS. In my case, it's 192.168.1.5, then followed by a colon and then a port number of 8123. So once you've typed in the IP address and a colon and then 8123, press enter. This should then bring you to the welcome to home assistant screen where you can go ahead and create your smart home. I won't go into detail of how to create a smart home because I've actually done this in previous videos before. So if you want to know that just go and search and look at my previous videos where I show you how to set up home assistant. So that's how you install home assistant within a docker container on a Synology NAS. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and keep a lookout for more videos coming soon. Bye for now.